Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So let's talk Luis Ortiz for a minute. You know, he was scheduled to fight Derek Rossi in April, right? But he suffered a hand injury, which prevented him from training. So he had to pull out of that fight. And now it appears that his hand is fully healed. And he's only got one thing on his mind. He only wants to face Anthony Joshua. In fact, he says that Anthony Joshua must face him next. Otherwise, he's going to be stripped of that WBA championship. And you know Luis Ortiz is the WBA mandatory for Anthony Joshua. But Anthony Joshua's got other issues. He's got issues with Vladimir Klitschko. However, Luis Ortiz's team says that none of that matters. And Joshua must face Ortiz next or they will seek legal action. And they've got documents to prove and support what they're saying. And they want the fight. Whether he, he vacates the belt. They want that fight. Now, I'm going to read off a statement from Luis Ortiz. This was from a couple of months ago. I congratulate the young man for courage, but I'm next. And that is that. Look, my team let that fight happen because the WBA and Eddie Hearn asked us for a favor and because Klitschko didn't want to fight me. But I'm done being pushed back. It's my time, and I want my WBA belt. So, yeah, I'm calling Joshua out. If he likes, he can just give up the belt. But if not, then October or November sounds good to me. So a sure move, boy. To be honest, he best... What the fuck is he saying? Luis Ortiz's fucking statement. He putting words together that don't go together and shit because he don't speak English. But this is interesting. You know, I was under the impression that the WBA was going to give, you know, Anthony Joshua some leeway because of that whole rematch clause in the contract with Vladimir Klitschko Anthony Joshua. So I'm not sure if there's any validity to what Ortiz's camp is saying, but I would love to see Luis Ortiz versus Anthony Joshua. That's a good motherfucking fight. I mean, you got Deontay Wilder running and scared to death of Luis Ortiz, saying that he would never fight Ortiz because he's failed a drug test. At least I think he, yeah, he failed a drug test, what, a few years ago? He's been clean since. And don't act like they don't do drug testing for the WBC, Deontay Wilder. So I don't know what you're so fucking afraid of. Now, it looks like they're making Anthony Joshua run a gauntlet if they have him fight Luis Ortiz. If Klitschko, damn, and you know what? If Klitschko backs out, I could definitely see Ortiz pursuing this even harder. Because Eddie Hearn is always talking about fighting Pulev and shit. They know they want to take the easy route anyway, right? Um... And now you got Joseph Parker talking about he wants a unification match with Anthony Joshua. See, the money man is Anthony Joshua. That's why people are coming to him. And then you got Mr. Wilder over here in the States just running his mouth, flapping his gums, not really trying to, you know, this isn't even about Deontay Wilder. So let, let's not, let's stay focused. Luis Ortiz should get a title shot. He really should get a fucking title shot because I, I would love to see who could win between this these two guys. Um, to be honest, I'd be leaning. I would lean towards Anthony Joshua because you know Ortiz has been looking kind of suspect in his last few fights, and I'm not saying he looked bad. It's just he doesn't know how to cut off the ring, and he has problem with slick fighters. And there's really not that many slick fighters at heavyweight that move around a lot, but. I can't remember dude's name, but it was like two, three fights ago. Um, he was giving him a lot of trouble, and I think the fight went 12 rounds. It was either 10 or 12 rounds. I can't remember. Didn't look it up before the video, but he was looking kind of suspect. Now, Eddie Hearn, I'm sure, wants to go the Klitschko rematch route for the money, and he wants to go Pulev afterward because that's an easier fight than fighting Ortiz. So... Man, Klitschko needs to figure out what he wants to do, man. He's holding a lot of shit up, to be honest with you. He's holding a lot of things up. And it's like dudes can't move until he makes his decision. Personally, I think Vladimir Klitschko's done. Otherwise, he would have already signed on to fight Joshua. I think we got a really good version of Vladimir Klitschko in his last fight with Joshua. He gave it his all. And me personally, I feel like, you know, he he's thinking, damn, this was like one of this is one of my best performances, and I still couldn't get the job done. Despite the fact that he was winning a lot of those rounds 
until he was stopped. But, you know, I just think he's a broken man at this point. I think, you know, if the rematch does happen, he loses to Anthony Joshua for a second time. I don't see him beating Joshua. Um, obviously, Joshua's displayed, you know, stamina issues. And at some point, that's going to come back to haunt him. I think he weighed in at his heaviest against Klitschko, which I don't think was a good idea, dude. He's got a lot of muscle, and that shit fatigues, man. So he was lucky when he got, he pretty much gassed. I can't remember what round it was, but he gassed. And if that was a younger Klitschko, he might have been able to stop him. If that was Deontay Wilder in Klitschko's position, he would have stopped Anthony Joshua. Ortiz would have stopped Anthony Joshua. But that's not how it went down. Uh, he ended up stopping Klitschko. And, you know, we don't know what's going on. Eddie Hearn is shopping that fight around. Uh, one place that's come up come to mind has been, what, Nigeria, uh, Vegas. You know, they stand to make a lot of money from this rematch. It's a big fight. Eddie Hearn is... Pimping the shit out of his fighters, man. He's making hella money off these dudes. Making hella money off Anthony Joshua's cash cow. Anthony Joshua is the cash cow at heavyweight. So, obviously, everyone wants to fight him. Um, I'm hoping Klitschko doesn't go through with the rematch. I think he might get knocked out. <laughs> like, for real, not TKO. Like, literally knocked the fuck out. Not able to continue. Out cold on a canvas. Dead. That's how I see it happening. But... You know, I can understand a lot of people feel like Klitschko could beat Joshua a second time around because of how he looked in the, the first fight. But how old is Klitschko? Like 42, 43 now? He lost two in a row. Two humiliating. Well, the first defeat was against Tyson Fury, and that was humiliating. And then, you know, you fight Joshua, you come in looking dope as fuck. You come in ready. You come in looking great. And you still lost. That's got to play to his ego, man. But... Luis Ortiz, I don't know, everyone seems to be ducking this dude. You know, he's old as shit. Uh, he looks like, um, shit, pick an auntie from any fucking TV show that you could think of. He looked like Aunt Viv, the second Aunt Viv from Fresh Prince. Um, shit, anybody's abuela that you can think of. Uh, Ninja Turtle, uh, Luis Ortiz. Let's see, let's look at this motherfucker. So... 50-year-old and a 30-year-old body-looking-ass boy. This motherfucker, you know, he ain't got that much time left, so he's really looking to make these fights. Uh, he's looking to get a payday. Um, he was fighting in, what was that, Cucamonga? His last fight was in Cucamonga or some shit like that. So not too many people saw it. What's he ranked by the WBC? I think he's ranked like third or fourth or fifth or some shit. Like, he got options, man. He gonna be all right. But it don't look like he'll ever get a chance to fight Wilder. Uh, so he might want to try to, he might, you know, he has to be Anthony Joshua. Otherwise he's done. You know, I'm just waiting for these, these three dudes to fight each other, man. Give me some combination. Give me Wilder, Joshua, Wilder, Ortiz, Ortiz, Joshua. Give me some, give me some, um, some combination of these fights, man. Cause these motherfuckers doing a lot of talking and a lot of ducking and I don't see shit happening. We all know Joseph Park is the weak link at heavyweight, and he's looking to sell his belt to the highest bidder, which would be Anthony Joshua. Eddie Hearn has been salivating at a chance to, to get that boy in the ring, and they're talking about sometime in 2018. So, I don't know. Ortiz is kind of the wild card, and, you know, if his team is correct in what they're saying, Anthony Joshua could be stripped of his uh, belt, his WBA title. So, you know, we better watch out for that. I'm going to be watching this shit closely. Nobody ever talks about Luis Ortiz. Old grandma looking ass. Old wrinkle face. Fucking swole chin ass boy. It don't really matter though. He going to, um, he'll get a shot at some point. But hopefully he's not juicing no more. Piece of shit. Hit man boxing. Leave a comment. Like the video. Subscribe. Let's talk about Luis Ortiz and the validity of his statement. I think it's false. Personally, I don't think it's a correct statement because the WBA has gone on record saying that they're going to allow, that they were going to allow, um, you know, Joshua to fight Klitschko in a rematch uh, because of that clause in the contract. But, you know, if they have some other contractual agreement with Luis Ortiz, then Anthony Joshua just might get stripped of that WBA belt. And that's not a good look, man, because we're trying to have a unified division here. 
Uh, you know, we want one unified champion at heavyweight, and we really want that across the board uh, in all the weight classes. It's not new. Uh, you know, it's not something that just started. But, you know, personally, I want to see a unified champion in every division except cruiserweight because I don't give a shit about them cruiserweights. Like I said, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe. Let's have a conversation about this shit. Hitman Boxing. Shout out to, shout out to, um, fuck it. I ain't shout nobody out. Hitman Boxing, I'm out.